more importantly, did get obsidian. And obsidian means that we can go to the nether. And I really hope that our spawn in the nether is good. Well, I'm really hoping it's going to be good. I still don't have enough materials to build myself a shield. I should have probably done this first, but... Oh well. Into the portal we go. What's the worst that can happen? This, this is the worst that could happen. This is the worst. Yeah, this is about exactly, yeah. Why did I have to ask the question? Why did I ask the question? Do you think I'm safe hiding in here? I don't. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to get back to that portal. I can just hear. <laughs> all I can hear is all of the ghasts and things around me. Okay, can I see it? I can't see it. What do you want? I thought you were going to attack me. Okay. Okay. All I need to do is get there. I think it's safe. I think it's safe. So, while I'm here, I might as I thought I just heard a gas shooting at me. Yeah, while I'm here, I might as well just fill up around the portal with some cobble. Just so it's a little bit safer. The one thing we do not want is to walk into the nether and the portal be exploded by a ghast. That would really turn this ocean-only survival to a nether-only survival. Because quite frankly, I have no idea how you even get a flint and steel. Okay, I think that's pretty much... I think that's all good. I'm going to fill in these holes because I don't want to just run out the portal and fall to my death into an abyss of lava. Okay, I think we're safe. While nothing's shooting at us, we could have a quick look around. Get a vantage point up high and we can see where we are, but we do want a fortress or we want one of the, is it the I don't know what it's called, the forest, the forest biomes basically. And back to the surface once again. This has been... This has been stressful. This has been very stressful. Well, we've got some mushrooms, so we can make mushroom stew, which is a good food source. Although we do have plenty of bread and plenty of fish for now. My plan was, in the first episode, was to find a mine shaft, to find some string so we can make a bed. I have not yet actually done that. We did go into the mines, that wasn't much success. We could go back, but we really need some wood. We are completely out of wood, and I don't want to. I don't want to take the wood out of my base. I want that all to stay. So, in other words, we've got to go on another adventure, and we've got to go searching these shipwrecks one more time. Well, I can see a few different shipwrecks around here, so I'm going to go and explore them all, and hopefully, we can return to the house with some more wood. Well, it's been a few days and already I've... Oh no, well that's just not good. Why? As soon as I press record, they all started appearing. I've not had any phantoms. Yeah, we need walls. <laughs> the house hasn't saved me. I'm trying to show off all the great things that I've done. Rudely interrupted by phantoms. Apologies for that. Those phantoms really ruined what I was trying to do there. But as I was trying to say, it's been a couple days, I've been off searching a few times for loads of shipwrecks, and we've got a load of awesome stuff. We've got six diamonds, and you can see we've got a diamond axe and a diamond shovel. So we did have more, but I made those tools. We've got so many water breathing potions, which is really useful. We're not going to run out of iron anytime soon. And a bunch of other things like wood as well. We've got some more wooden blocks down here. We take them from as many shipwrecks as I can without dying. You are not welcome here. Leave. And as you can see, I have also 
made a new little area over here of dirt and I started planting some potatoes in it. But I have finally made myself a shield. We've got plenty of iron swords, but I don't like the iron swords. I want something better. So we've now got a full set of diamond tools. It is time to go back down into those caves. Ooh, I seem to have come across a cave. Oh, I can hear a zombie again, but that can wait because we need resources. That is why we are on this mining trip. There definitely seems to be a point at which these underwater caves and caverns start disappearing and turn into just regular caves and caverns. And that's kind of where we want to get to. We want to get to that point so we can do some actual mining. I was just about to say, how deep are we? We must be at deep slate by now. And we are. Are we getting close? I think we're getting closer to water. Oh, that's a good sign. I guess now we can explore this lush cave. Okay, got some tropical fish as well. They just appeared in my inventory. A lot of tropical fish. What's going on here? Things are dying. Oh, they're being pushed off. They are. They're being pushed off of somewhere and they're falling to their death down here. Okay, we are... We're just going to run back down here. Oh, here they come. They're coming down. They're coming down. It's already shooting at me. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, let's let's get the shield up. And we need our food. I don't know why I took the food out of my hotbar. We got an achievement. We got an advancement. I think it's going to be safe. So let's go back up here. It's not that safe. Oh my gosh, is there a spawner? Oh no. Oh no, that that was bad. I am very close to dying. There must have been a spawner. There is no way that many zombies can spawn in one place like that. I really don't like the creepers. Run away, creeper. Go away, creeper. Where are the rest of these zombies? Is that wood? Is that wood? Oh my god. There's a... the mine shaft. I completely forgot the name of it. How are we going to get to it without dying? Oh no, there's, they're coming from everywhere. There's nothing around here. Hopefully we can make our way around a different way to that mine shaft. Because it's just too deadly. I've just gone in a big circle. Ow, oh, no. That scared me. The mine shaft, it's up there. Oh, look at all the mobs. Oh, there's so many skeletons. Oh my god, look at them all. Where is it? It's there. It is literally just there. Oh no, it's seen me. They're always shooting at me. Yes, actually, if we lure them towards here, they're going to fall down the waterfall. The mine shaft must be next to me somewhere. We are closer. We're closer. We have found a mine shaft, and we've got string, and we can make wool, we can make a bed, we can sleep through the night, the phantoms are no longer going to be a problem. Oh my gosh, this was so stressful. Anything good? We've got coal, a name tag, that could be quite useful. More torches, that's useful, especially for what we're doing. Pumpkin seeds, yes. Seeds, they have seeds in these chests, don't they? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh man, honestly, I don't, I can't tell you how happy I am that I have found this. And it's next to our base as well. Like, we could actually just make a staircase going straight to this. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and explore all of this mine shaft, see what good things we've got, and again, hopefully not die. Because. I've nearly already died once while being down here. But I'm I'm playing it safe now. I'm I'm taking it a little bit slower. As long as I don't just go running into a horde of zombies or skeletons or something. But I'm gonna continue searching around here, and we shall reconvene back at home. I've been exploring this place for probably about an hour now, and we've got some decent stuff. And we got an, a golden apple. We've got some seeds and a few ores. We've got over a stack of raw iron. I, we didn't need iron. I needed coal. But we have got string. 
which is important because we can go make a bed so we don't die from phantoms. Uh, other than that, there's not a lot here. I mean, there's a lot of wood, which is good. So definitely, definitely going to use this wood at some point. But for now, I need to get back home and I have no idea how, how to get back home. And 1200... Yeah, it, this must go directly underneath our base. I'm expecting at some point for water to start pouring into this cave. Coal! Yes! That's, that's lucky. Well, that's lucky that we found just stumbled into coal. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, what level are we on? 49. I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm going to come back down to this level and strip mine for coal. There is sand. Which means water closely follows where's our house. Oh my god! Just there! Wow. And now we can make our bed. And we also have bone meal. Now the bone meal is going to be useful for something right now. While on my travels to find some shipwrecks, I found an island. Nothing caught it. It was in this direction. And it's not that far from here. But why am I so excited about an island, you ask? Well, it has grass. And as soon as we've got silk touch, this is our only source. And you can't bone meal dirt to get tall grass and flowers. And this, this is the item that I wanted most. Seeds. We can now make wheat, which means we can make bread. And it's going night time, which means those phantoms are definitely coming back. And we need to get back to the house very quickly. This house really needs finishing. It needs a bit of work doing to it. But now we're here. We can finally sleep the first night. Boy, that was a good sleep. I feel completely refreshed. Ready to attack another day. That's a better way of getting the farm up and running a little bit faster. Using bone meal. I'm going to go use some of the gold in the nether. Hopefully we can go and do some trading. We've got some golden boots here, which I've got off something. Which is going to be perfect. Thankfully we have guarded our portal in the nether. Any piglins? Any piglins anywhere? Oh yes there is. Oh there's a few of them. Oh look at that. Gone. Into the hole you go. And let's see what type of stuff we get from them. I am getting some pretty useful stuff from these guys. Is that everything? Have you finished trading? Have you traded all my gold? Thank you very much. Oh, there's a lot of them around here. We got a bunch of fire resistance potions. We got a bunch of blackstone. More obsidian, crying obsidian. And a few other random bits as well. And this spawn really is not a good spawn for exploring. Surrounded either side by basalt deltas and on this side it is... <gasps> there's a forest. I reckon I'm gonna bridge across there. So I'm gonna collect as much netherrack as is needed. How far do you reckon was that? 100 blocks? Okay, a stack and a half should be fine. I'm so glad I've got some gold boots on. Whoa! I thought you were coming to attack me. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh my god! There was no need for that, was there? I've got a bridge off of this ledge no matter what, annoyingly. <laughs> oh, this is going to be... Thank God that I found... Go away, Mr. Strider. I don't need you here right now. And tra thank God I traded with those piglins. And they gave me some... I, I, I can't even speak right now. They gave me fire resistance potions. And if it wasn't for them, I would 100% be dead. I'm going to have to go back to the portal. Because in my frenzy of trying to get that potion in my inventory... I threw quite a few things out, and I'm fairly sure that my diamond pick is gone. I did indeed lose a few things. 
I did have to make a new diamond pick. I didn't have room in my inventory. I was just spamming. I, I didn't. My hotbar was full. I was throwing things out. I have no idea how I survived. Oh boy. I've made myself a nice fresh set of armor. I think one of the pieces of armor we were wearing did break as well. Uh, yeah. I think building is probably going to be the safest thing to do right now. Yeah, I think finishing off the house is going to be the safest thing to do. We've nearly died down in the mines. We've nearly died in the nether. Um, I'm not... I'm, I, I kind of want to play it safe now for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish the house and then we can figure out what we'll do later. So it's time for another very quick time lapse. It's not going to be a very long one and it's not going to be much of an impressive build, but we can do what we can with what we are given. So let's go. What a cute little house floating in the middle of the water. I quite like this. I tried to do a little bit of kind of pattern or detailing with different kind of blocks around the walls. I put this little extension on, not quite in the right position that I wanted to, but I'll be honest, I couldn't be bothered to take it down and redo it and do it properly. So this is do for now, because we'll expand this at some point anyway. This will get bigger, this will be expanded, it'll be improved. But we've got somewhere to store chests, we've got somewhere to sleep, and we have walls to stop the phantoms from coming in and swooping down. Not that the phantoms will be a problem now we can sleep. Maybe the drowned were going to be a problem. If I had a drowned that spawned with a trident in the old house, oh, we were dead. We would have died. 100%. <laughs> I've made a bunch of new tools, I've made a bunch of new stuff, which is good, and replaced the stuff that I just threw into the lava in the nether. I've got plenty of baked potatoes now. Our farm has also all finished and I can harvest that and grow it all again. It is all starting to come together. And one thing that I really want to do is go back down into the mines to replace the diamonds that we just lost by remaking all of our stuff. I've looked back at the old footage from the last episode and we didn't actually finish exploring the mine that we originally found. We called it quits and just ran home because we didn't have a shield. And I can just sense the diamonds being down there. So we've got to go back. And back down into the mines we go. Apologies if this video is half mining, but that's pretty much all we can do until we get some sort of stuff to be able to build. Somewhere down here, there's a cave. There's the cave. Now where did we go? I'm pretty sure we went down this route. I'm already lost. Where am I? Did I mine my way out of somewhere? Ah, oh, that's cobbled deeps. That's not normal deep slate. Does that mean? Yes, it does. Make myself a little staircase so I can get back up. Now, if I remember correctly, this is where I finished. Yep, it is because there was a load of mobs that were trying to kill me up here. Oh, I don't want to fall into those lava. Oh, I didn't bring any of my potions. I just want diamonds. I've got so much iron. Was that diamonds? No, that was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Diamonds? Oh, diamonds. Diamonds, please. I'm going to have to cover that up. There's gold, but I don't want gold. Actually, we do want gold. Gold is kind of useful for trading with those piglins. Where are all the mobs? Oh my god! Once again, my heart is beating out of my chest. I thought I was going to die again. 
<laughs> this is really not going well with the lava. That is now the second time I have fallen into lava while playing on this. I don't think I've ever fallen into lava this many times before. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to strip mine. I think strip mining is going to be the only way forward. Mark myself some tunnels and hopefully we can find some more diamonds. Well, at least we got some lapis. I thought that was raw iron that... What is that? Is that wool? Grey wool? Deep slate top? What? Why is there wool here? Hold on a minute. What? Oh. My. God. Uh, okay, we're leaving here. We're leaving. Fairly quickly. Fairly quickly would be good.